get, being able to get a blowout win when you guys have struggled to kind of get over the hump in some of these games where you get out to a lead early, especially after last week? Yeah, it was a good team win. Um, you know, this is why we put all the work in. Um, you know, we, 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 we're execute based offense and defense and special teams, and um, when we're executing at a high level, um, we have outputs like, like we had today. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. A lot of guys were able to get in there and take advantage of their opportunities and make some plays and um, came out pretty healthy for the most part and um, had a big time win. What was the the status of Tyler Vaughn? We saw him a couple plays, but uh, you just didn't see, like, he, he wasn't in the rotation really out there like he would normally be, obviously. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, that was just for this game. And, uh, you know, I think I anticipate that he'll be – uh, full to go next week uh, we play UCLA. I'm on Ross St. Brown moving out to the outside, kind of filling that spot for Tyler Vons. How did you think he, he stepped in on the outside? I know you guys have moved him around a lot. I thought he had a tremendous day. Um, you know, I was excited for him to see him out there. And um, again, just talked about it earlier. You know, he took advantage of the opportunity that he had and uh, made some plays, made some great uh, catches down the field, you know, high points and balls, uh, run after the catch. Um, had a good punt return in the game, so uh, you know obviously he's one of our, our better players on the team, and it's always exciting and fun just to watch him play. What's, what's been the biggest area of growth for Drake this season? Uh, it's just the experience. Uh, you know, the more games he gets under his belt, the more experience he has out there. I think the more the game will slow down for him, and uh, you know he's very talented, very good uh, football player, and. Um, I was excited, you know, for him to have his first 100-yard game. What kind of talks did you have during that lull he had during the year where he wasn't going to catches and passed his way with going to picks and stuff? Honestly, I haven't had to have any talks with him, you know, and uh, that's a testament to, the, to, to Drake as a young man. Um, I think in today's society and, and world of, you know, student-athletes, there is a, it's all about me, 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 and, you know, how come I'm not getting touches, plays, catches, and whatever, and, you know, he just works hard every single day, um, just loves to compete, loves to block, loves to do whatever he can for the team. And uh, he's such a team guy. And uh, he's just waiting for his opportunity and let the let the plays come to him. And um, he kept the faith, kept working, and kept his head down. And now he's, you know, seen all the results. And um, very exciting for him. And I think he has a bright future ahead of him. What are some of maybe the little things that he's doing now that maybe he wasn't going to sharpen a month ago? Nothing. He's been playing. He's been playing great since he got here, literally. So, you know, it's not like he's been drank a different Powerade or Kool-Aid or something. Like, he's been a great player since he stepped on campus. He doesn't look any different to you now than he did at Washington. That's why I'm seeing close to the country. Okay. Clay made a strong push for Pittman to get some national recognition. Uh, what do you think he fits into that picture among those receivers? I mean, he's got to be up there. Uh, he's, he's, he's been having a tremendous year. Um, he's been working his tail off uh, day in and day out, you know, taking care of his body, doing all the little things, competing at a high level. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see how it plays out at the end of the day. You know, I think he's more concerned about winning and this team. I think that's why he's called the captain. But, uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, uh, I think he'll be in that conversation. And uh, really, it's not up to him, it's not up to me, it's not up to us. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, people are going to vote on him. And all he can do is continue to produce and play, and uh, I think he'll do that. How valuable has he been as a mentor to some of those younger guys, too? I think very. I mean, even from an experience standpoint of uh, not playing as early as, and often maybe as much as a, as a young player, um, he's had a lot of experience of just playing and being out there. And, and uh, you know, so he, he brings a... Uh, a very wide range of, of experience for our, our group, and uh, you know we're gonna definitely miss them, and we gotta take advantage of, of, of having them for the next couple games. You know what I mean? Because obviously he's walking out the door, being a graduate, and um, you know he's had a great career at USC. As good as he already was, has he gotten better Ooh. within this year, Michael Pim? Uh, I would think, you know, I think so. I think the entire group is uh, continuing to get better, you know, and uh, I think it's a testament to them, you know, they don't settle uh, after a good game or after a good day, you know, there's always room for growth and improvement, and uh, I think that's just the mindset that they have collectively as a group, you know, so regardless of, uh, of what they do or what they've had statistically, it's been a so what, now what mentality, 
he had a good game, so what now what? On to the next one. You know what I'm saying? He had a bad day, so what now what? Let's go. Let's let's pick it up and, and try to have a good day. So, you know, we don't get caught in, in, in being stuck in, in the same spot. And I think these guys just have a, a great uh, worker's mentality, and they've done a great job. I know it meant a lot to him coming into the year to kind of be part of that fraternity of all kind of great U.S. receivers. You know, you know a little bit about that. Do you see him like in that on that level with you guys? No doubt. I mean, after the year he's had this year, I mean, he has to be in those conversations, um, and that's really what it's about. I mean, at the end of the day, you just go out there and play, um, and you leave those conversations for other people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, so you can't control it, and, and it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But um, you just go out and play every day, and, and I know he takes pride in, in his work, and um, you know I think people are going to remember this season. Uh, that he's having, and they're going to remember him for a long time. Yeah, but you put him in that conversation now, right? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely, man. I mean, he, statistically, he's one of the national leaders, and, uh, yeah. you know, he's, he's having a great year. He's a productive wide receiver. He's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's physical. Um, I think he's one of the better guys to, to come through, and I think just the group, man, I mean, all the guys. I mean, yeah. it's a testament to, to all the guys in the room. Uh, it's really just about opportunities, and uh, recruiting, obviously, yeah. recruiting really good football players, and um, you know they're all they're all talented, you know. So obviously he's getting a lot of shine right now, and uh, it's well deserved by him. You know he's been working really hard for his opportunity, and he'll continue to do so in the future. Let's do one more. Was there a point where you guys just decided let's attack more downfield? Was was there something you guys were seeing from them that? made that decision or are we kind of holding those back waiting for a good opportunity i mean that's our mentality honestly doesn't change you know we we, we keep the same mentality we're aggressive we attack uh, you know regardless of team or situation or you know we just honestly just take what the defense gives us so uh, we call plays accordingly we run plays accordingly the quarterback distributes the ball accordingly depending on wherever the coverage dictates. So, um, you know, I think we, 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 we continue to just have an aggressive mentality and, and go out and, and try to put the ball in the end zone any way we can.